What's going on everybody? I got done with work and figured I'd use the vise in the shop at work since my vise is buried and my lighting's piss poor in my garage. So I grabbed a file out of my toolbox. To, these are the, this one right here is the one that I got from Boyce Equipment and these, one of my friend's dads, uh, helped, he cut them out, uh, he had somebody cut them out on a water jet, but it's an 80 amp machine, and the, the water uh, deflects a little bit, so everything's on an angle, even the bolt holes. So I got a, you can see the, the size difference in the bolt holes front and back. So I got to clean them up. I was fully prepared to use the the file, and I walked. I put the light on in the shop. I walked over here, and Brian screwed up. He left a die grinder out. So guess what I'm using? Thanks, Brian. So I'm gonna get set up and do all this. I ordered all the bolts from Bolt Depot to do both axles so there's 7 16 20 uh, top lock uh, nuts there's hardened washers 32 of them m14 2.0 by 35 millimeter flange bolts those are for the caliper to this bracket goes in this hole right here. So I need to make sure they all fit. And then the 7 16 20 by one and a half will go in these holes, mount it to the, the axle flange. So the, the kit that came from Boyce didn't have washers. And I'm not a fan of using uh, hardened steel nuts and bolts rubbing against mild steel because you know you're going to have these trucks vibrate a lot and i would rather have a hardened washer in place so yeah that was from bolt depot it was 50 bucks plus like 13 bucks shipping so it was 63 bucks for for everything and they're all you know that's grade eight, that's grade eight. These are grade eight. And then these are 10.9 uh, hardness. So basically, you know, equivalent, to, the metric equivalent to grade eight. So I'm gonna get, uh, get to zip zipping. I'll catch you later, thanks.